What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am a little under the weather right now, if you can probably hear the stuffiness in my voice. Came down with a cold a couple days ago and really fighting hard. I needed to film this video before I leave and pack and I didn't want to film this the day of because it's just always been a cluster and stressful when I do that. So I really wanted to plan these out and so the day of I can just throw everything in the suitcase and go. So yeah, I'm going to Paris. I asked a friend of mine if she would be able to get the weekend off we're doing like a long weekend. Um, I needed one more flight to hit platinum medallion status with Delta. And I didn't want to waste it because then you get platinum medallion status for all of 2020. So I started looking up like affordable flights and found that Zurich, Switzerland was pretty cheap. And then looked at a like a puddle hopper flight, whatever you call it, to Paris. And that was like super cheap too. And I would definitely rather spend a weekend in Paris. So, haven't been before, really excited. I have literally have not worn makeup since Thanksgiving, which was Thursday, today's Monday. Put on a little face for you guys, literally, I don't know, four products. I filled my brows in a bit, put some YSL, um, this stuff. I've been obsessed with it lately. It's almost, it reminds me of like a BB cream, kind of, but it's got like a really pretty glow and you literally just put it on my hands and it's really easy. So, and then I put some lipstick on, which I'm not really sure of this color. I feel like it really brings out the yellow in my teeth and it looks almost like orangey. See, maybe it's just my skin tone. Yeah, I don't think I'm a fan. Also, if you're wondering if I dyed my hair brunette, I didn't. I just haven't washed it in forever because we leave. Thursday and I want to wait till Wednesday. It's Monday already. I'm like gonna wash it and then wash it again because I don't want to wash it while we're there. I have to pack shampoo and all that. It's just a process. I have had a lot of fun planning my outfits for this trip because I feel like winter in Europe in general is much um, more moderate than it is here. So I can, I don't know, it's really fun for fashion, I feel like. So I, again, have had a lot of fun picking out different coats and booties and pants and all that good stuff, so I'm really excited to try these out. I haven't tried any of these on yet, so we are all seeing these for the first time. Some may be not a good match or outfit at all, but I have some alternatives for things if I don't like what I originally had planned. So without further ado, we can uh, hop on into this video. If you guys are new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. It really means the world to me and helps support my baby growing channel. So thank you in advance. Love you all. Okay, right, we're starting off. This is my, I brought my little movable rack into the bathroom so I wouldn't have to go in and out. So this is not the first outfit. This isn't put together yet, but this is kind of like the base. So I have never owned a pair of cargo pants, but I've been seeing them online a lot and I love how they look styled and with like some booties and stuff. So I have this Revolve bodysuit. I'm wearing also one of these kind of guys. I'll link it. I get them on Amazon, but they're like the perfect strapless, backless, comfortable bra. And they kind of like push your boobs up. See, it like, that looks like I'm wearing a push-up bra, I feel like. But yeah, so I love them a lot. So I was gonna pair these cargo pants with a jacket and some booties. So let's try that out, <laughs> see how that looks. Okay, what do we think? I don't know, I can't tell. I really was just trying, I have so much black over here that I was like, okay, I got these new booties from Revolve and I love them and I think they're so cute. So I wanted to try like pairing them with this camel colored trench coat that I just got from Misguided. Yeah, this is definitely out of my comfort zone, but I think it came together actually really freaking cute. Probably wear it with like, Crossbody bag or yeah. Mm, okay, I hate it with the bag. <laughs> I'm trying to only pack no more than like five outfits because I'll probably do like a day and a night one for like dinner, but we're technically only there for like two and a half days. So we're gonna have the rest of the day when we get there and then two full days and then we leave the next morning. So it is a very quick trip. Also, just found out that this coat does not have pockets. That is honestly freaking bogus. I wish I would have known. But yeah, so I'm just going to do process of elimination. I don't know how many outfits I have planned right here, but 
we'll figure it out. I wish so badly I would have been recording while I was changing because while I was putting these pants on, one of the buttons just popped off. And I will admit, if I'm like tugging a little hard, like it's happened, I've done it, I'm a dumb E, but I was barely touching it and the button just, which also, I appreciate the fact that they give you extra buttons, but you think I'm gonna whip out my sewing kit or even know how to use a sewing kit and just sew the button back on? This might be the time to force me to do that, but these pants I don't think are the winner for this outfit. Here they are, they're super freaking cute. Look at that bottom button. These are more of like a statement pant. Like the color scheme is cute, I feel like. Just the coat is like a little much maybe? I don't know, I really need to steam all of this, so please ignore all the wrinkles everywhere. Yeah, I don't know, I feel like these might be more of like a summer pant, don't have to wear a coat, you know what I mean? Super cute though, these are also from Revolve. These are probably not the ones. I really did like the cargo pants. Kind of iffy at first. I think it's more the coat. Like I'm just kind of, it makes my shoulders look real broad. Like why do you have to add that? Can you just like chill out a little bit? I think this is a good start. And this is a definite like yes maybe for me. Not these. Well, I mean these aren't cute. Comment down below which ones you like the best. I'm gonna probably maybe try and sew this button back on and bring both. Let me know which ones you like the best. Version one of this outfit, I love. These jeans I have been obsessed with because basically they've just been like thrown in my face for months with Instagram advertising. Um, I think it's called like a Dika maybe, but the only thing I did not, they're a little tight, they're snug, and they're not as high rise as I feel like I would like. Kind of squish my butt down a bit, but I haven't really worked out in a while, so my butt's shrinking anyways. Yeah, so my other alternative is just like another pair of like light mom jeans. The style, which is basically, instead of like a normal heel, just a really thick sole across the whole bottom. And I love it, it's very like badass vibe type thing. Military or something, I'm not sure what kind of boots they wear. But yeah, just with like a black crossbody bag and a black puffer. Just like a casual day, chillin', walking around outfit, black belt, white, same white Revolve bodysuit. I think this jacket is from Misguided. Pretty cheap, not incredibly warm, which is why it'll be perfect for this trip because it's not gonna be that cold. I will try this outfit on with the other jeans and see how it looks and feels compared to this. So variation two, I think this is the winner I love the like ripped jean and these are a bit like looser and baggier and I feel like I like that look a little more with the boots and just everything. Also threw my hair up in a bun. I think that's a better look for this outfit as well. One, because there's like a lot going around, going on around here. So yeah, this is definitely a winner. I love this one so much. I also rolled up the jeans at the bottom. You know, they were hiding the top of the boots and we can't do that. Also, I'm really sorry if I'm loud and if I'm like huffing and puffing into the camera because your girl is absolutely out of breath. All of these will look a lot better when I have a lipstick and makeup on that actually complements my skin. Definite outfit number one. We're gonna call the camel tan outfit a maybe for now, but this is an absolute heel yeah. Love it. Number three, here it is. I don't think I like it. Well, no, I do, but I don't think I like the, I have a blazer on. Okay, so I'm wearing these Revolve, oh, they're commando pleather leggings. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw my other leggings or my other pleather pants legging things were like a great deal and they fit super well and I was so excited about them and literally like the first time I wore them for more than an hour, they ripped <laughs> across both knees. So I decided it was time to invest in some good quality ones. Yeah, so these are a little bit pricier, but totally worth it. These are so nice. A lot of people recommended Spanx leggings, which I can't remember if I actually ordered those or not. They might be like on the way here, but I actually really like, I really liked this like no band because I feel like these look more like pants instead of leggings you know what I mean so I really really like these I probably won't wear them with underwear because you can see 
the underwear line. Growing up, I always had scarves like these and they weren't actual Burberry. So I decided to spoil myself a bit and get an actual Burberry scarf since I'm going to Paris, you know what I mean? Yeah, so I wanted something that was like all black or just very neutral. So this could be like kind of the statement piece, but I don't, yeah, I don't like it with the blazer. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, no. So no blazer. See, my butt is shrinking. I'm gonna go work out again, but I also need to like rest and get better. So that's the problem in my life. <laughs> God, my hair is so greasy, I wanna die. Obviously, if we're out and about, I'll probably throw on like a pea coat. I think I actually just love scarves just like draped over like this. Maybe I'll like it tied the other way now without the blazer. So these boots are Steve Madden. They're really freaking cute. They're like a snakeskin leather. But if these look better with the outfit, I kind of just want to wear it like bring one pair. So we'll see. But the knit ones are really comfortable. These are actually really comfortable too. This is the same one as the camel coat. Like the shoulders I'm not a huge fan of. I don't think I mind it though, actually. But I also have another black trench coat that same thing, same outfit that I'm gonna wear with those booties. Try not to overpack. So when it comes to wearing this outfit with a coat, this is the second coat I was talking about. Or this in my fall outfits video. Yeah, when it comes to tying the scarf with a coat, I think this is gonna be the way to go. Yeah, this one is definitely a lot lighter. I need to check the weather. <laughs> Next up, we have this. I ordered these pants from Aritzia probably like a month ago with some sweaters. And I'm obsessed, they fit so well. And I love like straight leg pants like this. And how cute is the pattern? I'm going with a lot of plaid this trip, as you can tell. So I'm definitely gonna wear these with like a pointed toe boot. These are the knit booties, which I love and are very comfortable. You don't really need to see the whole knit. So I definitely want a pointed toe with these, more pointed than this. And then I kind of was just experimenting with this jacket. I don't know. I also have a white turtleneck that I was thinking about pairing with these and then maybe like white booties and then like a black coat. So I'm gonna try that one on next. I could also wear a black coat with this one. This will probably be like a nice dinner outfit. And whenever I wear turtlenecks, I always throw my hair in a bun. Here it is with white turtleneck, white booties or off white, and then a black jacket. I like this, but then this means I have to pack a whole nother pair of boots. I don't know, I like both. I probably would wear the other one with a black jacket instead of like the cream one I was wearing. But we'll see. I've been taking selfies so I can flip through them and decide. Okay, this is the outfit I was literally the most excited for. It's not what I imagined. One, the tights are a little too dark. I thought they'd be a little more opaque. Yeah, Florencia styled this dress in white for me for our Hawaii trip and I never got a chance to wear it and I was so sad and we were talking about it and she sent me a picture of it in black with some like knee-high boots or something and I was like oh my god that would be perfect for Paris so cute and I do have over the knee boots and I think that's what I'm gonna do but the spanks that I got with this it's like a low cut bra and it has like shorts it keeps showing like a lot more than I remember it. So obviously, like anytime I move, like my whole bra is just out. If I do wear this, I'm definitely gonna do over the knee boots because this is just too much black, I feel like. I mean, it looks cute, but I think it'd look cuter with, but yeah, I'm really sad. So maybe if I wear it, I just can't move, like at all. <laughs> so I'm really sad about it. Maybe I'll find like some tape so it won't move or something like that, but. It's from Shoozy, which if you haven't heard of, which I had before she linked this dress for me, super cute website, a lot of cute stuff. Okay, switched out the tights and short booties, and I think this is so much cuter. A little more skin, I feel like the all black, everything kind of just like blended together and you can really see the details of the outfit. Still gotta figure out the whole bra thing, but tape or just no moving, okay. Airport outfit number one. This is, this sweatshirt and sweatpants are from Joe Brown. It is all made in LA, which I think is really cool that it's like US based and all that good stuff. A little pricier because it is made in the US. I got an email about this cropped sweater and it has like a drawstring right here, which I 
love on sweatshirts or crops in general. And then look at this turtleneck, the details. So yeah, they're both like an off-white color and the sweatpants again are from there as well. I have these in gray and black too. And they're like a perfect casual, cute 90s looking jogger. And then my great royals or something, I don't know. Florencia um, recommended these. They're like the perfect white basic sneaker that goes with literally anything. And then airport outfit number two, because I know I'm gonna be ready to be just comfy, and do which I know the other one's comfy too, but I don't know, I feel like I always just go for all black, but I think this is still super cute. I'm wearing my Balance Athletica um, Ascend leggings, I think. They're honestly one of my favorites to travel in because they don't move, I feel so hugged, and they're really soft and comfortable. This little puffer coat from Misguided, and then again, those same sneakers. So yeah. All right guys, that is it for me and this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you absolutely loved it. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new to my channel. I'm releasing new videos every single week. And if you want to shop any of these outfits, I have linked every single thing in the description box below. I will let you know my sizes below as well as if it is a similar product or if it is the exact product that I'm wearing here. Most of these should be exact. They're not too old. Yeah, there might be a couple pieces that will have to be similar lengths, especially after Black Friday, actually. I don't know. I haven't checked yet. Yeah, thank you again, and I will see you in the next video.